The views and opinions expressed did not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, my name is Patty Hunter and welcome to my show again, Patty's Page. Today we have a very special guest and my co-host. To my left is Ted Lynn, news director of Wayne TV. And to his left is Terry Doran, my co-host, and also uh, the creator of Theater for Ideas. Now today we're going to be bugging Ted about Wayne TV, where he works, and about himself. We're curious mm -hmm. about you. We'd like to know more about you. So, okay. shall we commence? <laughs> so, uh, were you born here in Fort Wayne? No, I was born at Methodist Hospital in downtown Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm actually an Indianapolis resident. So, oh, but you live here now. But I live here now. Yeah. We have been up here uh, yeah, almost eight years. Oh, eight Moved years. up here in uh, the summer of 2004. So how long have you been working for Wayne TV? Since the summer of 2004, <laughs> yeah. Came up here uh, with, uh, was hired to be the news director then, and uh, so it's been eight good years. So yeah. here in yeah. Fort Wayne, love it here. Were you in TV in Indianapolis? Right, uh, that's all I've done. I just finished my 35th year in TV total. Uh, most of the years were spent at WISH, W-I-S-H, oh. the big CBS station in Indianapolis. So. Uh, 21 years there uh, as a producer, executive producer, assistant news director, and uh, special projects director, and then came up here as news director back in 2004. So you worked your way up. Worked my, I've worked my way up. Before that, I was a reporter mm -hmm. uh, on air, did a little anchoring too, and, uh, but you know we wanted to move back to Indianapolis. That's where most of our family was at the time. So you say we, you're married. Right. With kids? Uh, we have two children. Uh, they're both married. I have four grandchildren. Oh, they, uh, nice. That whole group lives in Michigan, uh, around the Grand Rapids area. Grand Rapids and uh, Holland. How long have you been married then? I've been married uh, be 37 years in May. Wow. That's my birthday, May 6th. May 30th, though. May 30th, okay. Yeah, 37 years uh, oh, in May. Gosh. So, yeah, it's been a good long, wow. good, good long time. Bob's and my uh, wedding anniversary is April 26th. Seventh, and it'll be 21 years. Well, congratulations. That's a good long time. I won't tell you how old I am. All right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what, uh, where'd you meet your wife? Met Kathy at uh, church, actually, in Indianapolis, growing up as a teenager. We actually dated for five years before we got married. We've been married for 37 years, so that's, wow. that's a long time. You married your childhood sweetheart. Right. right. Yeah, we met at church mm. in the church youth group. Oh, that's good. Great oh, that's a that. great, mm -hmm. great place to meet people. It is. It is. So, yeah, it's worked out really well. What prompted you to be in television? Well, that's a good question. I mean, it's all I've done. Uh, you know, coming out of, uh, of high school and headed into college, I kind of wanted to be in media. Thought I would maybe do something in radio. Thought I might do something in sports. And uh, toward the end of my college, I had the opportunity to do a college internship at Wish in Indy, and it was then that I knew that TV was what I wanted to work on. And frankly, I made the switch from sports to news when I realized there were so many people, um, you know, involved in news as opposed to sports. It's a much smaller department and much more competitive. Uh, most guys, you know, there's real popularity to sports at that time, and with news, there was just more opportunity. And so I made that decision to switch over, and I you know, been in news ever since. So when you came to Wayne TV, here to Fort Wayne, uh, what were you, were you? Well, the, the last job I had at WISH was called Special Projects Director. Right. But most of my time at WISH was managing as executive producer or assistant news director, basically running the day-to-day -day news operations, stories, what are we doing, who's doing it, you know, major events, that yeah. sort of thing. That's most of what I did. Uh, at Wish, 
So, and so yeah. Do you wish you were there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's all so, right. so what's a news director do versus executive producer, for example? Well, what you learn about news director is that, you know, the buck definitely stops at the door of the news director. Oh. If things go right or they go wrong, it's the news director that's going to take the hit or is going to get the credit. Well, not that <laughs> I'm out for that, but that's, that is, tends to be uh, the way that's described. So what do I do? I'm a manager, um, and so uh, I'm as good a news director as the people who work for me. And I do a lot of hiring. Uh, I've hired, you know, as I said, about 50 people in the wow. Wayne newsroom uh, because people that have coming and going. So to the extent that I hire good people, it you know makes us successful, makes us look good, makes frankly makes me look good. That that's what keeps me going. So I'm a manager, and I also of course deal with all the special projects, and there are a thousand of those all the time. But most of what I do is manage people. I mean, I'm building a structure mm -hmm. that, uh, it, you know, when successful, results in good news programming on Wayne. Yeah. So, really, it starts with who you hire. It do, it's all about uh, who I you mean, hire. When you get a good hire. I can't sit here yeah. right now and talk to you good people unless I've got people in my newsroom because we, we're doing four hours of new, live news every day. You know, and two hours That's on the weekend lot. days. That's a lot. And you have to have producers, reporters, photographers, you know, anchors. Editors. You've got to have your weather, your sports, your editors. You've got to have your managers. So if I don't have good people to do all that, I, I can't be here. So unfortunately, I do. It's good to be organized. Yeah. So I was just wondering, um, do you have to go to school to learn broadcasting? Can you learn on the job and work your way up? Or do you have to have a degree? Well, I guess it depends on which job. Um, most of the jobs, I can't think of any job in the newsroom right now held by anybody who doesn't have a college degree. Right. So that probably answers your question. Yeah. Can you get a job somewhere in a TV station? And, it, you know, it's possible. possible. But speaking of news, for the most part, it, it does anymore require that. I'm not sure it has always been that way, but now with the emphasis on journalism, writing, and especially this multi-platform, you know, the web, and so many things that we're doing. And, uh, frankly, reporters have to shoot, so I don't want to wear you out. But I'll just tell you, everybody does a lot. Most of that training happens in school. And, and to tell you the truth, I don't even, I even like to think that I'm hiring people who have experience of six, eight months, up to a year at right. another TV station. Oh. Fort Wayne is kind of right in the middle right. of all the TV markets. There's a lot smaller, a lot, a lot bigger. bigger. And uh, so it's nice to get somebody that's already burned off some of those rough edges somewhere else. And, and uh, it appears from reading some of the biographies of your reporters that they are now doing a lot of things, not just standing in front of the camera and reporting, but going back and editing. It's incredible it how much they do. Yeah, it is. I mean, the, the, there's, there's, there, is there are two different skills in a way. Well, it is. We've got them armed with iPhones, laptops, yeah, and cameras. And so uh, my photography staff is not quite as big as it used to be, but every reporter can shoot. Two years ago, as I would sit here, I couldn't say that. Yeah, it used to be you'd see a TV crew, or it's Wayne or whatever station, there'd be a camera person and the reporter. Right. That's right. Now I often just see one person. That's right. With the camera and doing it all, and That's then right. taking it back and editing it him, That's him right. or herself. Now we don't. We tend not to ask the reporter to also uh, set up a live truck. So if yeah. you see that, yeah, I, and a lot yeah. of times they do. You know, there are stories that really lend themselves to this kind of multimedia journalist, but then there are some that really don't, where you need a second set of hands, a second set of eyes out oh, there yeah. in the field. It's nice to and have And that's one the photographer. So we still have five full-time photographers at, in the Wayne newsroom. Are it, it, you uh, affiliated right. with CBS? We are. That is our network. CBS. And who is it owned by? Wayne is owned by Lynn Media, not Ted Lynn. Don't confuse that. <laughs> I don't own it. I just going to ask. Yeah, don't. Uh, that, that's. Uh, I always explain that. Okay. Uh, Wayne is owned by Lynn. L I N. Uh, L I N Media, and uh, we have I don't know twenty nine or thirty TV stations around the country. Wow. Uh, fifteen. The way I like to look at it is there are fifteen newsrooms. Uh, we've got an East Coast. We got some right here in Indiana, and then a kind of a Southern tier. Of stations, so there are 15, uh, 15 newsrooms. Well, in addition to hiring these people and overseeing what they do, you have to, I would think, as news director, have some philosophy of what is news. What, right. What's a news story? Why is it worth Wayne's time to go exactly cover it? 
you know, to the extent that people uh, either need to know it or, uh, you know, frankly, something that's interesting. You know, those are the sorts of things that we look for, look at. Uh, and, uh, you know, those are the, we make decisions every day about we're going to put a reporter on that. And then producers, you know, who sit at their computer all day and get that 30 wow. minute show put together, you know, that's the entirety of it. And frankly, we're making the decision on what you're going to see in the news every night. You know, tends to be centered around Fort Wayne and then, sure. you know, works its way out from there. Uh, yeah. So, the, um, a wider audience? Well, we go uh, to the east, about four counties into Ohio, you know, that edge right across, uh, and then up to the Michigan lo border, yeah. to the north. Mm. Uh, and to the west, uh, you know, Warsaw is kind of the limit in that, and then to the south, um, you know, Portland, uh, you know, Decatur, Bluffton, Mar Marion's really not part of our area, but that, uh, you know, just Goes kind of just far. to that edge. All of Allen County. And okay, yeah, all of Allen County. Most of our viewers are in Allen County because most of the people live in Allen County. Yeah. It's, uh, That's a rather large place, Allen County. It is. It's bigger than people. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's big geographically and there's a, a bigger population base here than uh, people give it credit. I understand there are 85,000 households who watch Access Fort Wayne. So you're going to get a lot of coverage there now. I love it. <laughs> um, Wayne TV. Why do they call it Wayne TV? W-A-N-E. Why? My <laughs> first answer is I don't know. You don't know. Because I wasn't here. You'll get and back I'm to not, me. <laughs> I am not the station historian. Uh, the station started, I think, in 1954. I oh, think yeah. it started in Waterloo. Really? Oh, but really? it's been there on state... Uh, Boulevard since I'm going to say 56. Ever since. 1956. So I presume Wayne, you know, because of Fort Wayne, and then yeah. you know, yeah. call Take letters the have to be four, not five. Oh. So it's W A N E, not W A Y. I like and, it. I like that a lot better than W A Y N E. Yeah, I mean, it, it just can't be because all call letters yeah. are four letters. It's almost like Wand instead of Wayne. Wand is in Decatur, Illinois, Pat. <laughs> there you go. There is a TV station there, Wand, oh W-A-N-D, it's in Decatur. <laughs> we used to own it. Really? Lynn used to own it. We don't any longer. Oh. I can't tell you anything more about that <laughs> Okay. Um, does Wayne TV have a motto, like a saying? Coverage you can count on. Kind of Coverage right. you can count on. Coverage you can count on. That is our brand. That mm -hmm. is what we... You know, did you live. come up with that? Or I did was not. that, I that there before you came? Exactly. It okay. was there before I got there. Uh, we've defined it. We try to live by it. We try to ask tough questions without being offensive. Uh, that's what we do every day. That's good. Yeah. Well, that, that's uh, another question. You take a big event like the horrible murder of Alana Lemon. Do you, uh, do you have a degree of independence in covering that? I mean, do you, do you have to work with the police? I mean, let's say that you cover, whether it's that story or whatever story, you find something that conflicts with an official story. How, how does Wayne, I mean, do you have a, like a policy on yeah. that? I'm just curious. Well, we, first of all, we are not an arm of the police department uh, okay. or any that, agency. Uh, and so... That's a good answer right To the there. extent that, uh, you know, important events like that, will, unfortunate event, happen in our community, we do rely on the police sure. to let us know things. But, you know, in their defense, they're not going to tell us everything they know. Right. Uh, and even today, we don't know the whole story on that. Oh. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are independent reporters, and so we're out gathering, you know, information in the community and anything we can find out as long as we can back it up with sources, then we, okay. and if we find it to be pertinent, we report it. Okay, thank you. Know, you. We do that every day. Thank so you, you don't have censorship or anything like that? Not really. Now, we'll, you know, it's possible that we'll make, you know, we'll make decisions intentionally not to run it. air yeah, or right. run and we again we want to be good civic community right. members if it's but we're safe. not the chamber of commerce right. okay. and we are not the police department so we uh, try to be responsible so if it's too sensitive it's a subject you don't report but, uh, not necessarily. It depends, I uh, think, on... You have to do it with uh, finesse. I think, well, yeah, with responsibility. And responsibility. I think some of it depends on how much people need to know. There are a lot of stories that 
that uh, we report that frankly I'm not interested in. But somebody is, and or you know, it, it is kind of fits the definition well, of news. I, I think to have a democracy, whether it's on a local level, national level, you've got to have a media that's independent right. of of the power class. We so are to independent. Speak. That, nobody, that was my point. Yeah, listen, nobody dictates to me really anything with regard to our Good. coverage. I mean. I well, it's I, a I, lot of a statement, but for the most part, that's true. I mean, there's nothing there that's uh, otherwise. But we I, still try to be responsible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Responsible, so you don't get in but trouble or sued. If or you're not that. independent, no, I, I we really don't want to get yeah, sued if we can. yeah. Well, sure. Um, <laughs> what really, we are, if you're not independent, then there's really no point in being right. a news yeah, TV this station. Yeah, there's government run. In my yeah, opinion, if anybody thinks that you know we're run by CBS or that was you know that that's not true. It's a good answer. We are a local station covering local news. Thank you. That's a good answer. Now, what are your hours during the week? When do you Me? start? What do you, when do you I start? usually, well, my day, you know, my alarm goes off at 6.30, mm -hmm. and I watch usually in a half hour or more of our uh, morning show, and then I watch CBS, and then I'm checking the newspaper. On my way in, I listen to the radio news, usually, whoa, whoa, whatever. Uh, I usually get in about 8.30. And, uh, and start then, at 9? Uh, hmm? You start at 9? 8.30. 8.30. That's when I get in. Oh, right. You know, now we're going constantly right so I may get calls at any time but and then my day you know I'm a manager so my day uh, usually goes till 6 6 15 you know whenever I feel like okay. the today's news is, is done. So you really you don't know, have never a set, done. set time no no whatever but needed. I spend and you know a lot of evenings you know doing stuff it's just sure. the news director has to do that and, and, and when you watch your news show right Wayne show you watch it as the boss yeah. The viewer, well, I, I watch a combination. It, uh, of I both. watch it more as a, a boss, knowing yeah. the content. It's but sometimes I watch as a viewer on the weekend. Yeah, right. You know, it's right. I watch it more as a viewer. It's funny that you watch it differently at home than you do at the station. Oh, Usually okay. at the station, I'll go into the control room. I'll watch the news. I'm definitely watching as a boss. Uh, right. If I'm at home, I, I'm more of casual, a viewer. Okay. Casual, casual. Okay. But when you're working, it's got to be a certain speed, but accurate. Yeah, accuracy is more yes. important than yes. speed. Yes. Okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah, but that's not to diminish speed. That's we right. Do, we do. We do have schedule. Like to get things on, and, and you can yeah. do it much more quickly. You know, you mentioned oh, yeah. you started in '54. I think way back then it was all on film, yep, so it was it very was. cumbersome to do a story. I mean, you had to shoot it in film, come back and edit it. You didn't have the editing facilities, techniques, equipment mm -hmm. they have now and all the digital and stuff well that's so. the thing see you you really have to get out of the the mindset that we do news four hours a day which we do on wane it's really a 24-hour news product now on wane.com mobile tablet and the tv just happens to be on four hours a day on local news and that that takes a lot of effort as we know a production does that takes a lot of effort. So a lot of effort goes into that, but when it comes to news, it should be available to you as the consumer right. uh, 24 hours a day, and so that's what we do. Well, that, that brings us to what you were talking about before we went on the air, which I love and it was you know, really taken aback by, that you don't like Wayne to think of it as a TV station anymore, but more as a, what, a content distribution center. And I, in terms of news, I think. Yeah, yeah, right, but you'd mentioned yeah. all these different avenues of, of <laughs> yes. you know, the phone and Facebook and the internet and all these different things that now uh, Define a newsroom, I guess you'd say. Yes, and it's—I mean, it's, we've made—we've turned the corner on that. Listen, I mean, it's still a TV station. Right, I know. We're, we're you broadcasting a signal. Hmm? Are you digital? Yes. Digital. Ah. Yeah. Sorry. I know, but I, I just like that content distribution. Yeah. So it's a nice. <laughs> that the more and you know, every day we get a little better at it. You know, that is taking information and moving it in so, on some platform right away. You know, there's no point in you don't have to just wait for the next show. And so your job must have expanded over the years from My putting it on the uh, put it I on the yeah. TV screen to mm -hmm. all these other yeah. uh, I'm an old fashioned products. TV guy. Don't yeah. get me wrong, and I love to go home and watch my TV. Right. But I have, you know, you have to expand into what, you know, the way people see. We we know that people are on Wayne.com all the time, and uh, you know that's a great place to get information. And, and it's a way for the viewer to interact with your news team. Right. 
that was not there probably 10 years ago. No, I not like it is not, now. Not like it is now, yeah. where you can just post a comment uh, at any time. What's the it. difference between your station and a cable? Do you know? Cable well, TV? I think the biggest difference is we're over the air. You know, we are broadcasting a signal from a tower and you know this is free you know you, you can watch us for free we don't charge anything in fact we've got three streams that are free right now wayne does we got wayne which you're used to the cbs we've got uh our uh, doppler channel which people love to watch the doppler radar yeah, okay. and, you and then of course we have antenna tv which is our newest s oh. station out of the wayne building so uh, it's free though you know it's a broadcast and you know cable is not you know if you're going to get a cable you know, program, you have to pay or you have to have access to that cable provider. And, and you don't necessarily have to do that for Wayne or the other local stations here. So what do you do on your time off? What do I do? Well, you know, we do have four grandchildren. So we, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> children. So we, uh, we spend some time with them, you know, when we can. They live in Michigan. Uh, I love to work in the yard. Um, and you know, I'm a great fan of Butler University. My oh, alma tell me mater. about that. I'm a great, great Colts fan, and oh, I yeah. love uh, open wheel racing. So, uh, you know, I wow. love all watching right. all that sort of thing. My wife and I enjoy doing things together, too. So, uh, Butler, graduate 1976, uh, great uh, school and a great fan of their, uh, you know, basketball team right now. So, ah. we've had some great success. Good basketball. So, yeah, yeah. Very proud Butler. Alone. Two years in a row, runner-ups, national championship. Right. Which for a darn small 4,000 student yes, school. Yes, it is. You know, that's not associated with a power conference. That's really a remarkable uh, accomplishment. And, and good for the sport. It is, and you don't see really any investigations there at Butler. And for the most part, these are just kids going to class. In fact, they did. They did go to class on the day when they were playing in the national championship. How about oh, that? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I when it was in I, Indy. Yeah, I remember reading A couple that. years yeah, ago. So yeah, I, that I, you just don't see. No. Like the team that just won, most of those kids are going to go pro. Oh, that, yeah. That has happened now at Butler a couple times, but it's not like the whole team's going to go pro. True. So, anyway, just, just a couple of them are that. outstanding, you mean. But that's where, uh, that's where the uh, foundation was laid for me in Butler. terms of news. Yeah. And... Uh, and, you know, 35 years later, I'm still doing it. I haven't had enough sense to get out of it. Where is TV going now besides digital? Actually, I think uh, high definition, making high definition? your picture even better. Uh, but I tell you what, I think TVs are flowing off the shelves uh, as fast or faster than ever. I think people love their television. I don't think there's anything about it that's going away. Uh, and obviously, if you do subscribe to satellite or cable, you've got an endless assortment of yeah. options of things that you can watch. And it's really mind-boggling to imagine what all is on there. So it might be mind-numbing. Yeah. In addition to mind-boggling. Uh, you mean it's good so, point. Yeah. so big, good point. so vast? It is vast. So I, I don't think TV's going anywhere. I, well, I was just, thank you. I was just um, curious, what's in your future with Wayne TV? You're going to work your way up to... Uh, Past well, no, I don't director. think so. Oh. I, uh, new, news director's <laughs> plenty for me. Oh, that's um, enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alan will agree with that. But, uh, oh, my, I better not no, say yeah, anything there's more. There's no real ambition there. I, uh, I'm a news guy. It would be hard for me, uh, frankly, to leave that uh, behind, I think, uh, some days maybe. But uh, for the most part, yeah. you know, I'm, uh, most of my career is behind me, but I, I try. I don't think about it that way every day. Can't, so, uh, yeah. but I don't. I don't intend on starting anything new. No. I'm a. I'm a guy that drives a car for 17 years. Been married for 37 years. I go to the same <laughs> church all the time. I, mean, I tend to do things the same way all the time. Do you do? Do you have any special uh, hobbies or anything like that? Well, like I say, uh, you know, kind of tinker around the yard a little bit. Uh, we like to keep our house nice. Uh, that sort of thing. Um, uh, most of the time, uh, you know, with our free time, it's spent with family because we actually don't have any family that lives within 100 miles of Fort Wayne. So it's yeah. an effort, you know, to go see my yeah, brother, yeah. to go see uh, my wife's parents, to see our children. You know, that becomes an event. It's, you know, in a, with gas at the, the way price it is, you don't just, uh, you don't just go for, for an hour. You, you must know, have a field day be. with... Uh, getting around your reporters getting around it you know we have a budget for that and we use every bit of it to put uh, fuel in the vehicles no question 
And so are there any openings now in Wayne? In Wayne, right now? Yes. I am looking for a, a multimedia journalist. Uh, you know, these people work hard. They have to shoot, write, report, right. get on air, you know, and then put it all online uh, right now. We're also looking for a digital executive producer, which is a right. new position at Wayne. And it, uh, it'll be the person that's responsible for, um, you know, moving everything onto digital content. It's the first person I've hired that is not doesn't really have a role in TV. It just gets back to this content TV, yeah. distribution that uh, you were interested in. So, so that'll be what fifty-two people under you, if you do. No, thirty. I have thirty-four people. 34. When fully staffed, you hired. You think you right? Said. I've I've hired fifty. Oh, two people. Yeah. But remember, people come and go. Right. What happens in Fort Wayne? You know, reporters, producers, they come in and they get more experience, and then. They, they naturally they want to move on to, to Indianapolis, oh. Cincinnati, uh, you know, Louisville, yeah. uh, wherever. Uh, I've lost, you know, several. I mean, I'm losing people all the time to the bigger markets. So, oh. so some of those 52 are repeat hires for the same position. I'm, I'm a numbers guy. I keep track of this <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. So do I. It amuses, <laughs> it amuses me. It keeps me awake at night. Yeah. yeah. I've been with uh, Access Fort Wayne working here. Uh, my show, Patty's Page, for about two years. Okay. She's coming up on 100 shows 100 in shows. a year and a half or so. Well, I, wanted, I, I wanted to be your 100th show, but Came close. it looks like I'm not quite there. It's almost, you know, you though. Know. You're very 96? close. 96, 96 somewhere around there. 96. Okay. Yeah, well, i got to have and you on again. All right. Please. You are such an enjoyable person. <laughs> well, thank you. You are, too. Oh. <laughs> I mean, how could anybody with a show named Patty's Page it's gotta be. be anything but enjoyable? It has there to you be. Go. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can ask me anything you want, I'll answer it. But uh, uh -oh. that's basically whether what you we answer do. it or yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what we do every day. We're just out covering the news and trying to do a, give it to you in a version that you know you can use and and uh, digest and appreciate. Well, of course, your new shows, most of them, if not all of them, are live. So They're you all really, live. You've got a time crunch. They're all live. I mean, you yeah, know, you gotta, some of the, the stories, you know, are right. recorded through the Oh, day. yeah, you know absolutely, that, yeah. When you see, you know, Heather and Mark or Tara and Pat or you see Drew or Alyssa on the weekend, you know, they're live. They're, if you go to WANE at, during that time, they're in the studio. Well, you live. know, I hate to cut this short. we got less than a minute left. Okay. And I have to have you on again. Okay, have any time. Thank you, Ted Lynn. Okay, Pat. Oh, uh, Wayne TV. Hey, it was a pleasure yeah. to meet you, Ted. And, and really thank you, Terry, my co-host. And thank you for coming into my studio here and watching the show. We'll see you next week, and I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless.